The story starts with a boy coming to us because his marriage proposal was denied by the girl's parents. The girl's parents were just not comfortable letting their youngest daughter marry this young boy in his 20s. What should he do? Let's get to it. Hi everyone, this is Joseph. I'm the managing partner here at Zahn Associates where we solve legal problems with creative solutions. Today's case about how we help this boy win the approval of the parents is a fascinating and super fun story. It's actually done through a prenuptial agreement. Now, most people think of a prenuptial agreement like it's a contract that binds the two people together and in case of a divorce is protecting the asset. But there's this creative way to use the prenuptial agreement. And mo most importantly, it's not actually what's in the agreement. Well, I mean, technically, but most importantly, it is used to win the approval of the parents. This young couple, they were crazy in love with each other. And not the head over heels puppy love type love, but they actually had marriage counseling. They knew they were a good fit. The only problem is the traditional mindset of the girl's parents. They were thinking, you know, these two young people, they just graduated college. They don't have anything saved up. She is at her prime. Why rush into this decision? She should focus on her career instead of making such a big commitment. Why can't they just stay boyfriend and girlfriend? I mean, I guess you could think of it as traditional or very modern, but in either case, the parents had a firm no. Now, the daughter being very obedient and not wanting to dishonor the family and be rebellious and just do things her own way, submitted to her parents' wishes and was not going to say yes to this marriage proposal. She was obviously in a very tight spot. Now, there is some wisdom in her parents' concern, but she's in a tough spot, right? Is she going to choose the man of her life or obey her parents. Now, this problem is not really for her to solve. It would be unfair to put all this pressure on her, even though it is her life, depending on how you look at it. But if the boy was able to persuade the parents, then everything will be okay. So that's when he approached us. What can we do? How can we help him? So the first thing we did was to really understand exactly where the parents are coming from. Where, what's the concern? And it really boils down to this, that she is young and in her prime and in her 20s, the most beautiful time of her life, blossoming in every way possible. And him being the poorest and most confused and, and, and there's so many possibilities that can happen, why go into this commitment now? Right? And so that's the major concern. Once the boy was able to understand that, he realized he needed to make this promise to her parents. I understand that you are giving me your daughter in her prime and you are scared for her that she is going to somehow suffer. I promise that I will be successful and I will achieve everything that I set my eyes on. And in that success, over 90% of it will be gifted to your daughter if somehow I dishonor her or your family. Something along those lines. It wasn't exactly in those words, I'm paraphrasing, but that's the promise and that's the way he approached this proposal. And once the parents saw that this is a promising young man, graduated from Ivy League, has all this future ahead of him, and yes, he is at his weakest spot now, but the future is bright for the young couple and because he loves her so much, he's willing to enter this prenuptial agreement, then they finally said yes. And truthfully, the girl told me, it's not really even about the prenuptial agreement, it's the attitude and the way he was able to take this so seriously. Seeing, going through marriage counseling, making sure that they are a compatible fit, and going through a lawyer, making sure that his promises and his oath is cemented in a legal document. There's nothing more romantic than that for traditional parents, and that's the creative solution to this particularly tricky legal problem on whether or not this, this couple can get married. Anyways, this was a fun case to work on, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Take care. Bye-bye.